Number one. International Superstar Soccer Pro for the PlayStation really was a football game ahead of its time. His innovative control system engaged players and eventually led to the legendary series Pro Evolution Soccer, which was the football game Welcome to play to in the early noughties. If you like action, you're in for a treat here. The sky is clear today. This game will be played by England and Germany. Both teams are on form, so the football will be flowing. It's nil, the nil, game was still. released in summer 1997 and received overwhelmingly positive reviews. Players would comment on the simplistic approach to the beautiful game, but felt incredibly fluid. The control system was realistic, but ISS Pro also enjoyed the arcade presentation style that was prevalent for sports games of its time. Even playing the game in 2021, the game holds up exceptionally well and boasts a range of game modes that can keep any football fan occupied for hours. A great game of football. If you like action, you're in for a treat here. By himself. What a late tackle. Well, the referee should have called that. It takes some... What a prime example of poor official. Lovely twist and turn. Great skill being shown. He'll bury that in the net. Just like its younger brother, ISS Pro suffers the same flaws when it comes to licensing. There are 32 international teams to choose from. For its time, the graphics of the kits are superb. Sadly, all of the actual players are fictional, leaving you longing for the opportunity to score a bullet header as Alan Shearer or dribble through an entire squad as THE Ronaldo. And number two on our list. Premier Manager 98 was another superb football game that received rave reviews in 1998. The management sim boasted an excellent database at the time, allowing you to wheel and deal your way from the old Division 3 up to the dizzy heights of the Premier League. During your managerial tenure, you'll have scoured the transfer market which used a simple but effective star system to rate the players. Keeping an eye on your budget was an important role for the manager, as if the chairman felt you were spending beyond your means, despite success in the league, you would be mercilessly sacked, meaning you'd have to start either from your last save or begin a new game with a new club. game only had one single soundtrack on a loop while you played. As ridiculous as that sounds, it was insanely addictive, meaning that after hours on end of a manager saying, I'm going to go through the season and not lose one match, never got tiring. We enjoy these games to this day, as it's always great fun to sign the future heroes of the Premier League, such as Thierry Henry for Scarborough, to see if they can bring success to the East Coast once and for all. Number 3 21 years after the release of Ronaldo v Football and we find it difficult to put into words just how popular the Brazilian Ronaldo was across the world. This was well before the time of social media and YouTube and thankfully this meant that when Ronaldo was playing for either club or country you just had to get to a TV to see it. His remarkable popularity throughout the footballing world meant that Ronaldo had his own licensed football game known as Ronaldo v Football. To what promises to be a fascinating match here. I've spoken to both managers. They've promised a great display. Have heard that before, but let's hope that this time they're right. A blazing sun and scorching heat. These conditions will suit the Brazilian players. Which is an excellent... The game hosted a huge 176 international teams, and some teams even included the real names of the players themselves. The presentation in this game was sublime, the control system was slick and the range of modes kept players coming back for more. The V Football Cup was the game's own take on the FIFA World Cup and completing competitions rewarded players with unlockable content 
such as all-star teams. Now, the menu music of this game was Samba de Janeiro by Bellini. And this is a sort of track that had many a 90s kid just cycling through the menus endlessly just to enjoy this track. Remember, this is way before the times where you could get any track on demand. He had that cover. He gives it. Flavio. Ball goes out of play. The pass. Nice control. Sail Roberto. Good pass. A penalty shootout to decide the winner is about to begin. And a goal. That's the easy one to duel with the goalkeeper. Certainly kept his nerve. Missed. Yes. A completely missed time shot. He clearly succumbed to the pressure. A new player is about to take his kick. And a goal. Yes, the keeper was beaten, but it really is an unfair contest for him. 2 0. And it's there. Oh, yes, that was a great strike. The keeper had absolutely no chance with that shot. Two successful attempts. To... It's gone in. Yes, nothing could stop that shot. Sometimes a goalkeeper must feel completely helpless. Three goals to one. It's... And if he scores, his team wins. Pressure must clinical. It's 4-1, and that's a final score. Number 4 Well before Pro Evolution and FIFA would battle one another to place the Champions League as an addition to their annual games, the European competition would boast its own game every season. The 2000-2001 game was published by Take-Two Interactive. The level of detail and respect this game has for one of the best football competitions in the world is truly sublime. The game organises the teams by seat and even gives you the option to play as classic European teams from previous years, including other English teams such as Aston Villa and Nottingham Forest who experienced European success in previous decades. Just when you think the weather can't get any worse, it does. And can he score? What a goal! The presentation includes real video of the UEFA competition from previous years, which shows the creators of the game really made the most of the UEFA license. The gameplay itself is unique but familiar and can be picked up and played between friends easily. Linked up well. Zidane. Damage. They're still hanging on to their lead here, but only just. Gets the foot in. Straight to feet. Inzaghi! Can't hold up! Oh. Inzaghi! 
So the ball has been placed on the spot. And the keeper totally lost the flat there. Well, the board are pushing some of their players upfield slightly more here. I wonder what they have in store, what they have planned. Inzaghi. Just five minutes to go. As well as the expected tournament now, the game boasts a superb scenario now, which is well ahead of its time. The player is placed in a variety of match situations and is either tasked with repeating marvellous feats of European Cup history or rewriting the past into a new narrative. In our attempts so far, we have been unable to repeat the great final minutes of Sheringham and Solskjaer, only managing to take the game to a draw and lose the Champions League final on penalties. This is yet another game that's worth your time just for this super mode alone. So, there you have it, our best PlayStation football games. Agree? Disagree? Got a retro football game memory? Well, we'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed our video, then please consider subscribing. It's free after all and is a really big help. And until then, we'll see you next time.